Travis Wayne Goodsell. As I've done the videos about the church's attempts to have me assassinated, and it's not the prophets doing it. They don't do it with guns or knives or any kind of weapon. They give the order to those who are in positions of authority, positions of trust, that can have a direct impact in my life. To abuse their position, criminally abuse their position, to follow the orders of the church and destroy me. It's still a crime. It's under RICO violations. As I sued the church for that. And if I need to remind you why the church wants me assassinated, I'm a translator. That's it. That's all. I was born and raised Mormon. Joseph Smith is involved with translation stuff and so I wanted to know how Joseph Smith rendered his translations because the church wants nothing to do with translation and yet he's our founder etc so the way was paved I became a translator And the church has been wanting me silenced, destroyed, and murdered ever since. I was locked up in Utah's Nazi concentration camp for six years of my life because I dared to sue the church through the state court. That's it. I filed a petition for a redress of grievances. They turned around and called me a terrorist threat and that my petition for a redress of grievances in accordance with the First Amendment was a weapon of mass destruction so that the court case was sealed from the public it cannot be obtained through a, a Freedom of Information Act filing let me get this off the screen here And, literally through miracles of three key retirements that uh, were early, I uh, was freed in 2014, sort of. Utah does not want to let us go. It is not a mental state that I am in bondage here in Utah. You do not know the evil of this church. They do. That's why they want me assassinated. And so last year, I was doing videos exposing what I had found in this book. That they were going to use the war in Ukraine yes in advance of the actual war in Ukraine to take over the world governments and to establish the kingdom of Deseret again and yeah they were pissed and I told you they had done that tactic to threaten me, saying, that's it, Travis, we're destroying your finances. My main source of income was destroyed. But somehow I survived. Again, miracle. And yet, because I survived, I again started receiving death threats. Oh, we've got something else planned for you, Travis. For your birthday. Yeah, well, guess what? They were 
a little late for my birthday, I guess. Maybe they did. And it took a response for yesterday to finally be notified today. My source of food has been cut off effective immediately. The food I have is it. And what have I been pushing lately with the Ukraine war? Oh, 19 July, 1840. The document that Brigham Young was so offended he did not want it in his Doctrine and Covenants. It's connected to Joseph Smith's parable in section 101 and it's later in the paragraph but before this time shall be the, the final battle in Ukraine these who are now my friends shall become my enemies and shall seek to take my life and there are those now before me remember Brigham Young and his twelve were in that audience before him who will more furiously pursue me more diligently seek my life and be more bloodthirsty upon my track than ever were the Missouri mobbers you say among yourselves, as did them of old time, Is it I, and is it I? Royal Skousen puts the scripture link to Mark, chapter 14. You now understand why I do the videos I do. About Nelson being compared to the planet Mark, called Mars means warlike. Judas is the betrayer of Jesus. And here Joseph said, those. In the plural, not just one Judas of the Quorum of the Twelve with Brigham Young as the president, but many. Because he had William Smith in there as his spy. <clears throat> Joseph Smith knew he was going to be assassinated. I've been telling you this with the real church history videos I've been doing. Joseph Smith knew Section 117, because the church says they decoded everything. There isn't anything left to be decoded. But wait, Newell K. Whitney, which I did the history video just the other day, showing he was in this band that Joseph Smith condemns him for being a part of. Let my servant Newell K. Whitney be ashamed of the Nicolaitan band. That comes from Revelation. Uses that name. So it's code. And of all their secret abominations. It is code for the Danites who came from the Scottish Rites, who were infiltrated by the Illuminati. I've done the church history videos of John C. Bennett, who formed a Halcyon Order of the Illuminati on Beaver Island off Michigan with James Strang's religion. Where did he get that from? The Illuminati use the inverted pentagram of Lucifer as their sign and symbol. 
Helaman, chapter 6, verses 22 and 23. And so Brigham Young, after Joseph is assassinated by two in his quorum, 19 July 1840, ordered the design on the outside to be changed, to have Lucifer's symbol at the sun position at noonday, in place of the sun and dedicated the Nauvoo Temple on the anniversary of the Illuminati and then put the sign of the Illuminati on the Nauvoo Temple and ordered it to be put on the keystone of the headquarters church which he called Zion the Temple of Salt Lake and his son Don Carlos was the one who made the Ponderosa Arch for Brigham Young and his family which is now the Eagle Gate at Temple Square on State Street these are the enemy of America and the world these are they who plotted to overthrow America and the world and the Smiths ruined it I told you about the real church history in Canandaigua New York 1826 where Joseph Smith senior was the master mason of the York Rites which has the highest rank of the Knights Templar with the Egyptian gold plates of the bloodline from King David to be here in America for New, New Jerusalem and Zion and they stopped the plot to destroy America back then and the enemy was furious and sought to murder whoever it was that caused this and we know exactly who was involved and their intentions because of being Mormon Heber C. Kimball as recorded in Wikipedia under Masonry he claims he went to Canandaigua New York's York Rite Lodge and requested to be advanced to Royal Ark. Well, that was William Morgan's rank. Canandaigua was where Joseph Smith Sr. was and where William Morgan was arrested while working on the book there that would expose this plot to destroy America and the world in the latter days using the Bible as their coded timing for the operations and he says his petition was accepted but oh he thought the records were destroyed because the anti-masons burned down that building along with over 600 others I think only six remained with the anti-Mason movement that followed. Joseph Smith Sr. rescued William Morgan and took on the responsibility as the Master Mason to finish the book. And Joseph Smith Jr. lost the 116 pages to Martin Harris? If you've seen those videos of mine. The church is not just a fraud they are the enemy of mankind they are seeking to destroy you they know I know and I know they know I know I they know I know and they have ordered my assassination and YouTube is helping them 
by silencing my voice. So that's the latest update. I'll soon be dead. I've informed my government all these years, sending them tips and documents and evidence and they refuse to even investigate. The church has got a stranglehold on everyone around the whole world. And don't think that just because I disappear and I'm gone that you're safe I've warned you what they are planning to do. If you think that they're going to be good to you because you remain loyal to them, you have no idea what they've got planned for conference because you're not watching my videos. They're planning an extermination event.